Hey guys, now we will discuss the concept of uh, constant voltage source and constant current source. We have uh, used this uh, uh, constant voltage and current source in our theorems, but what are really these devices? And if you want to make these devices on in our real world, how it should look like? So we will try to understand the concept. Let's go to our blackboard. So let's draw a constant voltage source here. So the contra cons constant voltage source, for example, this is our source of 10 volts, which is a constant voltage source, 10 volts, oh sorry, 10 volts, and I connect a variable load here, a load here. So the constant voltage source is a source that will give 10 volt constant irrespective of the load current or irrespective of change in resistance. So for example if the load current is 1 ampere if you see the voltage here it will be 10. If the voltages are 10 here uh, if the current is increased to 10 ampere if you see again the voltages are again the 10 if the load current increases to 100 ampere for example there will be no change in the supply voltages of that source so it is called a constant voltage source but practically in the field or practically there is no such source available so how we can make it because the reason behind this one as I explained that each source okay, this is a source also has internal resistance and there are voltage drops across this resistance okay and if the voltages are dropped then the remaining voltage is appearing across the load so this is actually the practical distance but the requirement in the field or any any network is that the voltage supply voltage should remain same so what is the requirement requirement is that source impedance should act like an ideal constant voltage source so voltage source has an ideally it is the voltages are not dropped so voltage will remain same but practically the it's not happening so but net requirement is again the voltage should remain constant and firm so it's considered as a good quality power network so what to do so what's the option so for example now if it's supplying 10 volts again and uh, 1 ohm is basically the resistance and 1 ampere is flowing so it means 9 volt will appear so what we can do here in the field practically we can increase the voltages of generator and 1 volt will drop and you can practically can have 11 volts and again in that case we will get the 10 volts so practically we are achieving the constant voltages at the load by increasing the excitation and increasing the supply voltage of the generator this is the one form another form is uh, normally the load is supplied through the generator and through some transformation network so transformer is installed between generator and the load so one option could be to change the voltages increase the voltages to maintain the supply voltage by tape changer winding so each transformer has also provided you can see this is the transformer and a tape changer winding is provided which can provide voltage regulation for example up to 15 percent so whatever is the voltage drop in the source impedance or voltage drop in the line which is compensated by the tape changer winding in the transformers so in this way we are achieving an ideal voltage source practically
okay so we'll move to our next topic that is the constant current source thank you